There's an outstanding story here that uh, really disappoints me. And you know what's going to happen when the Iranians are going to get involved in the uh, conflict in Iraq. Here's a story from the Bloomberg, uh, BloombergView.com. And it's saying here, Iran-backed militias are getting U.S. weapons. Yes, it's true. We're giving the Iranian Shia militia members uh, U.S. weapons. And it's pretty sad. Uh, we're giving them, uh, sources say the Baghdad government, which was granted $1.2 billion in training and equipment aid in the omnibus uh, spending bill passed last month, is turning o hardware over to the Shia militias that are heavily influenced by Iran and have been guilty of gross human rights violations. So it's a pretty sad day when you can't train the Sunnis and you can't give them weapons, but yet we can give the uh, Iranians. Their, it's, it's, it's Iraq's enemies also. They just don't see the picture, the big picture. They're getting taken over by the Iranians slowly but surely. And at some point in the future, they're going to be so taken over, they, they, they're going to realize their country has been, has been um, they, they, no, they no longer control their country. And these Revolutionary Guards, uh, the flawed Iraqi security forces are unable to fight Islamic State without the aid of the militias, who are often trained and sometimes commanded by officers from the Iran Revolutionary Guard Corps, the IRGC, who have been uh, linked to uh, killing U.S. soldiers during the uh, Iraq War. So they, um, they got a lot of blood on their hands, and I can't believe that we're uh, giving them uh, U.S.-made weapons. And here's a picture of... Uh, Iranian Shia militia member. Uh, there's the flag. I'm not sure what militia member that is. I'm taking a guess. Al Haq probably. And here's an M1 tank. And why he is on that tank and why he has controlled it, most likely control this tank, is is uh, is beyond me. It's just crazy. And uh, Senator McCain, John McCain. He said the Iraqi military is a long way from being prepared to act in an impactful fashion. Meanwhile, the vacuum is being filled by Shia militias that are Iranian-backed. And I was told that some of those arms come, came from the United States of America, McCain said. He also said the Iranians are now, to a large degree, through the Shia militias, in the absence of a capable Iraqi military, doing most of the fighting against ISIS that cannot be in the U.S. interest. Just thought I'd share this video with you and check this article out. The link will be below. We are giving. You see it, folks. Bloombergview.com. We are giving the Iranians U.S. weapons. $1.2 billion. It's not good, folks. This is American Contractor. Thanks for watching. And uh, if you have any comments, listen below. Like I said, the link will be below. And uh, if you have any questions, just go ahead and email me or, or comment below. Thank you for watching.